day guys, Austin here, and in this one today, we're playing Nano Assault EX. Now this is a gem of a game, I f well, I won't go that far, it's a very, very good game. We're playing this on the Citra 3DS emulator, so I'm playing this on the PC. My PC specifications are in the description down below. I can tell you I'm using the Canary build of Citra, which is the most recent, up-to-date, most bleeding edge, as they used to call it. Uh, version of Citra. In other words, this is a beta version. Now, it's completely stock, it's completely official, it's completely downloadable. I'll put links in the description down below where you can get it from. Also in the description down below is a link to a guide which will get you up and running and get it to this kind of level that you're seeing today. Now, first off, what I want to do is I've just loaded this up and I want to make sure that I'm running this first off at a sensible setting. So I want to turn this down to 240p, which is the native resolution of the Nintendo 3DS console. Obviously we're playing this on the computer, so we can push it, hopefully, once we start getting into this. But for now, I want to keep things stocked so we can make sure everything's stable. Bottom right hand corner, you can see we've got 100% of 100%, so the game's running full speed. We are running 60 frames per second, or it should be running 60 frames per second, and it is at this moment in time. Once we get into game, things may start to wobble, but that's what this test is all about. We're going to see how far we can push this. Now, like I said, this is one hell of a little game. I love it. I love this game. Um, in the past, when I've tried to load it on Citra, it hasn't been working. But today, we're going to see how far we can push this and get it up and running. I have got my save profiles from my 3DS, so well, I've only played two levels. But for now, let's see how this is running on here. So let's go for the first level first off. It's only a little one from what I remember. I tell you what, I'm happy. <laughs> it is running as well, isn't it? So, yeah, 60 frames per second. 100%. Good. Good to go. It looks like we can push this up straight away. So, for those of you who haven't played it before, it's a, well, your little tiny micro, well, machine. Nano machine, I suppose you'd say. That's the name of the game. You're on some little cellular organism and you've got to shoot your way through. It's a shooter, to be honest. Let's pick up my stuff, so then I should be able to get my weapon. So far, 100%. I am going to push this up straight away, to be honest. Right. Emulation, configure. Everything should be stock at this moment in time. So, makes no difference on the first general tab, what settings you've got. Makes no difference whatsoever. Leave everything in stock, as per the guide. System-wise, makes no difference here. This is all your personal settings, or whatever it is you've put in there, if you want to change them from stock. Input-wise, as you can see, I'm running this on a... Well, I'm using my Xbox One S pad. You can configure this to more or less whatever pad you want nowadays, so... Pads are good to go as long as you've got your pad switched on before you load the emulator. That way it'll pick it up. Graphics wise then, this is where things do hamper it. So as you can see, I turn this down to 240p, which is the native resolution of the Nintendo 3DS. However, the Nintendo 3DS had what, a one inch screen or something daft like that? So graphics like this looked brilliant on it because the screen was so small. However, when you're playing this on your TV or a monitor, this is the kind of stuff that you got going on. So we want to push this further. So let's push it to two, well, 720p first off. <laughs> Look at that. It looks crystal clear even at 720p. That is much better. Let's have a quick blast around, make sure there's no stutters or anything like that going on. That looks beautiful, doesn't it? This is such a beautiful game. This is one of them games where it's awesome to pick up in short bursts. No pun intended, as I'd give my short burst with a gun. It is good, obviously, to play this with a control pad, especially dual stick with C-stick support. It has got it in this emulator, and it plays awesome with it, to be honest. No lag whatsoever from what I can see. Right, let's pump this up even more, configure-wise. Let's push it to the maximum. Let's go 4K, boom. No holes barred, straight in there. So we did have a stutter as it was rendering it, but now we're getting 100% 60 frames per second. So let's push this and see if we can get it to stutter. Oh my god, this looks beautiful. Okay, let's do what it says. Adjust my firing schemes. So basically when I press my bumper button, it changes the way my ship fires. Spreads the shot around. So now I've got to um, shoot these guys. 
So with my right stick I can control which way I'm firing, left stick controls which way my ship goes. If I'm gonna remember, I've gotta take a few of these guys out. I forgot how good this game was to be honest. It's highly addictive, like I said in short bursts. There's not much meat to it. It's not exactly gonna Oh It's not exactly going to uh entice you for hours on end. But it looks beautiful, doesn't it? I mean, this game must be, what, like five years old now or something? It's aged well, especially when the resolution's pumped up. Lighting effects. It reminds me of, like, a Metroid spin-off. Performance-wise, flawless. Not only have we now got this bootable, but straight off the bat, the first time I've tested it... Oh, we got a stutter there. So we've got one stutter so far. That's not bad. Is that going to be a normal thing? We are running at this 4K, by the way, so we are pushing this further than probably we should do. I mean, let's face it, it's a 3DS game. There's no reason why we should play it at 4K. But, hey, we're PC gamers. Why shouldn't we at the end of the day? But maybe turn it down to a sensible thing, such as, I don't know, even 720p look fine. Let's face it. We'll see if that's just a one-off, though. First off, we'll wipe this boss out. Ah. Oh, what? Come on. Got this. Oh my god, I'm doing terry bad. And people are watching me on YouTube as well. How embarrassing. Not that I'm ever any good anyway. Oh. <laughs> Terrible. We've got to make it through this point at least so I can test the bloody game. I'm being brought to my knees by the second level of, the <laughs> of this game. Come on. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? The way they've got the lighting on this game, the colours with the neon glows and stuff. They nailed it. Come on. We gotta get past the boss. Nailing this. Oh, what? Come on, he came out of nowhere then. I think I've got him this time. Come on! Got this. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Come on. <laughs> what? The nanites got my ass. Come on, if I can make it through this level, I'm happy that this game is working. <laughs> We're supposed to be testing the game, not my gameplay ability here, which is terry bad. I'm not seeing no more of them stutters though, which is a great thing. It must have just been a one-off. Maybe it's my machine. I got no idea. That's the crazy world of emulation. You never know what's going on until you actually plow some hours into some of these things. Because Citra is such a... It literally is like a cutting-edge emulator. It's on the fringe of... Yeah, it's playable, but... It's very much... I wouldn't say a fully stable emulator. There's still a long journey for it to go on. But from what I'm seeing on my recent tests... They've really started to nail the compatibility down. I'm seeing a lot more games launching, and those games that aren't launching, including the ones that were launched in the past, are now very playable indeed. To the stage where we can see these kind of graphical enhancements. And that's one of the great things about emulation. I mean, yeah, we are preserving games. Yep, yeah, we are playing these games on other platforms than originally intended, which is awesome because it opens the options it lets us play the games how we want to play them 
Oh, what? Come on, I'm so bad at this. 